This glass window riddled with bullets, neighbors say, is a harsh reminder of how a life can be taken in a blink of an eye. Hope for the best and prepare for the worst. This is the spot where 18-year-old Joshua Sparrow was killed. Jesus Reyes tells us his family lives here. I got kids. I think any parent. How a will feel. It was just after 7 Monday night. Police say it started as an argument in the lobby of this building on Reverend James Polite Avenue in the Longwood section, but quickly escalated. Sparrow was shot in the head and torso. Reyes remembers seeing the teen around the neighborhood. The, you know, how you doing? What's up? How you doing? Good afternoon. A good kid. Can't save a life and it's gone. This is what, this is what we deal with on a daily basis in the Bronx. When is going to change? Sparrow is the 15th shot and killed in the city in less than a week. Last Thursday, 16-year-old Clarence Jones was gunned down in Harlem. A 15-year-old was shot in East Flatbush. And over the weekend, a 15- and 16-year-old were shot and killed in Crown Heights. We need people to step it up. We need change. You know, we need more attendance. We need more, more. We, need, we don't see nobody. This would be a ghost town. The school's out. After 5 o'clock, this is dead. Groups like Bronx Rises Against Gun Violence or BRAG say they are stepping up, offering teens an outlet, support, and programs, constantly working around the clock to help. But they say they can't do it alone. We have to do better as community members and give out more resources to our youth to make sure they have something to do because the majority of the youth out here carrying today are trying to protect themselves. Also, they say the narrative is wrong. Teens with weapons are using them for a different reason than you may think. The majority of our youth that are walking around carrying any kind of a weapon, they're carrying it as protection. And you heard the community leader there talking about teens picking up guns as protection. The NYPD says leave the protection to them. If you have any information on the cases we're talking about, call Crime Stoppers. The number's right there. It's 800 577 TIPS. In the Wakefield section of the Bronx, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.